Hello again. It's Double Talk 73. What we're going to do. Whoops. Hold on a minute. Forgot, forgot my hat. <laughs> you know, it's not me if I don't forget something. Anyhow, what we're going to do this morning is we're going to work on. Uh, Moose Lake, White Moose Lake, I forgot where we was at, <laughs> <coughs> working with uh, lake trout with a down rod and also with what I call my modified Texas rig. I use a light float, well just let me show you, that's easier than trying to explain it, let's see, get rid of that. <clears throat> okay, here we go. The downrod rig is basically the same. We're going to use number two, number five, and number six in our rod holder. Now we're only going to do that at night. Uh, number seven, we're going to use our uh, Brutus 910 Thunderspin 4500 022 Fluoro, a slim float. And there's a reason for that. X series four rod hook and shiners and an 85 inch leader. And that seems to be pretty critical. The down rods, the most you can get on them is 70, what is it, 78? Yes, 78.74, which has to be a centimeter conversion. Not sure how many centimeters, but it would be nice if we had you know, 100 up here, so or 98 or whatever it's supposed to be, so that we can make it 85, but we can't, so this is what we're going to do. So I'm also going to show you the difference between a, a morning, early morning, uh, let's see, an after, here we go, we'll go to here, early morning peak, afternoon peak, and a night peak. Okay, so what I've got to get to is I've got to get to day five, and it doesn't matter whether it's raining or cloudy or whatever, but uh, we'll go to day five. Let's, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to time. We want to go to... Let's go to 10 p.m. or 12, whatever. And then I can warp from day to day. I don't want to wait. I have some coins. Went to 12 a.m. 10 p.m. Okay. All right, we're on day three. Day four. Okay, now we're gonna go to day five. So we'll be at the next morning. 5 a.m. Okay, this is where we're at. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and fish. The really the peak starts at six. So I want I want to show you the, the the peak, and then of an evening the peak starts at 6 p.m. So you got nine, eight, seven, six. So we'll start at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. at night. Okay, so we want to advance time to 6 a.m., okay? Now, I'm just using one one rod so I don't have to keep changing, pulling, oops. I don't want to keep uh, having to reel in all the down rods, so I'm just going to show you the difference between these times. And what we want to do is cast out as far as we can. And then let out line. It doesn't matter how far you get out. You get out 80 feet, 110 feet, whatever your rig will cast. And then let it let your line out to 130 feet. <laughs> and if you go over, that's okay. You can come back to it. There we go. There we go, 130. 
Now, all we do, we hear our dings, and as soon as that distance cast of 130 uh, moves, that's when you set the hook. Just right button, right mouse button, and then start to reel. If you hit them both at the same time, you're going to jerk the bait out of its mouth and the hook out of its mouth. So wait till you that numbers move, and then press your right mouse button to set the hook, and then start reeling in. Now this is a rig that that anybody that they're not don't have enough money to buy down rods, or, or or you're not at enough level, high enough level to be able to get the down rods, you can use this with any big rig that you have. Now the uni trout when we fish at night. They're going to get up in the in the 50 pound range, so you might break your line a couple of times. But uh, I hope you do. I hope you catch them big enough that you do break your line. That that that's exciting. But anyhow, it's pretty slow in the morning. And what I caught when I was trying this before I before I started streaming was all I caught were common lake trout in the 12 pound range uh, I caught one brook trout a little over two pounds and several burbot I caught more burbot burbot <laughs> than anything but that's you know that's part of learning so remember learn just a little bit and pass it on that's the fisherman's way this is going to be a common should be a common lake trout based on the way that the graphs moving up and down Here we go. That's what we're going to catch. We'll catch one more, and then we'll move on to the evening. Now, this is fun. You know, if you want to fish this and just fish and have fun, if you've got a lighter rig and you can't handle the big trophies or, or the big unis that you're going to catch at night, that's okay. You can do this. And the advantage to fishing at night is that when you warp from night to night to night after you use that first coin you don't have to use any more coins it costs you a thousand dollars to extend when you fish at night the trophies that you catch if you catch one trophy you pay more than pay for an extend so you're going to come out money ahead and you just go from night to night to night to night to night just as often as you want catch just as many trophies just as many unis as you want and you don't have to spend any more coins but I wanted to show you the morning and the afternoon early afternoon peaks now if you look up here <laughs> it says it's raining do you see any rain no <laughs> so, uh, so the devs got some programming to do Either that or this is invisible rain. Maybe maybe this is that invisible rain. I guess I'm get that up so I don't let line out <laughs> when I catch a fish. I'm sure Lewis is telling Lewis is telling me in chat that I needed to do that. He's the one that suggested that I use down rods as well as a single rod so that it wasn't as boring. Uh, I said, okay, uh, thank you for the suggestion. That's what I'll do. But I'm fishing. I don't get bored. If I get bored, I just move to a different spot where I can catch something like sturgeon, catch them faster, or blue catfish with down rods, catch them faster. This is just the use of a technique. And see, I told you it's slow. So we ain't gonna, we're not going to wait anymore. We're going to go to the evening now. This is the early evening peak. I'll show you on the map here in just a second to remind you. Okay, now we're going to go to this peak. Okay. So I'm going to go to 7 o'clock. See, when you advance in the day, most of the time you have to use coins. But you can go from night to night to night and only have to use one coin. That's the good thing about fishing at night, too. 
But thank you for watching. I hope we can catch, get some big fish for you when we get there. About missed that one. It was hitting it on while I was letting the line out. <laughs> I believe it's going to be another common lake trout. There you go. Seven. That's a small one. That's not common. That's an uncommon. Oops. Now, see, I'm going to be way short on this cast. About 60-something. Not right at 70. Still let out the line. No matter how far you throw out there, just let out the line to 130. It's a video game. All it knows is ones and zeros. And it knows that if you had that line out there at 130, you're in the right spot. Go figure. But the, the nighttime peak is usually good for about 40 to 45 minutes. Now, you can keep on fishing the whole peak. Uh, it slows down. Now, you'll continue to catch fish. They'll just be further apart. But the first 40 to 45 minutes of the night peak is when you'll catch the most fish. And like I said, it only costs a thousand dollars to extend. So if you get bored, or if you know if there's nothing really happening, see here we go again. See, it's nine pound. Okay. Now we're going to warp. Okay, we got a. 11 to 1, so we're going to warp to 11 p.m. See, we still, still during the day, so we still got to use coins. So we don't want to do that anyhow. I'm lucky I got a lot of coins. So we're 11. And I would use down rods also. So let's get our down rod here. And I'm going to catch one with just the single rod first. We'll see what we can get. Or I may just go ahead and fish this whole 35, 40 minutes with a single down rod or the single float. And then when we advance, I'll add the down rods. For some reason, 131 doesn't do it, 129 doesn't do it. It has to be 130, 130 feet. I don't know how many meters that is. Let's see what my phone tells me. How many meters is 130 feet? That's 39.6 meters, which would probably be 40. So you would want to cast out 40 meters if you're using empirical. I guess it's called empirical. I don't remember. It's been too long since I've been in school. <laughs> and just like any other time when I'm fishing, I'll wait a little while. If nothing happens, I'm going to reel it in reset. See, we've got seven minutes. Long enough. That's me. Not bored. I just want to catch some fish. Or a fish, anyhow.
know what I did? I didn't stream. I'm not streaming. Shame on me. Here we go. Now we're streaming. Sorry, buddy. I was just recording instead of streaming. Please forgive me. <sighs> but I showed in earlier the morning and afternoon. Let's see. Let me do this. That looks like a bird bot. That happens too. That, that trophy brook trout. How about that? I apologize, buddy. That's not going to work. Got to think about what I'm doing instead of doing what I'm thinking. See, now, if I hadn't read his message, I wouldn't realize that I was not streaming. All I was doing was recording. I've got another monitor ordered. It should be here before the end of the week, and I'll set up a dual monitor set up so that I can when I do stupid stuff like that y'all can help me and I'll be able to read and say whoops And my buddy is right. It is slow if you do this. Just use a single rod. It's slow. But I'm fishing, so I don't get bored very easily. Not when I'm fishing either in the game or real life. I don't get bored. I'm fishing. Sometimes I have been known uh, when my son and I just wanted to go have some fun. We'll take the, the hooks off of a float and just cast a lure, excuse me, take the hooks off of a lure, and just cast it up against the bank and reel it in. We're not out to catch any fish. We're just practicing our accuracy and having fun. I'm going to give it a few more minutes like this, and then we'll warp to the next peak night peak and uh, add the bottom rods so my buddy doesn't get bored <laughs> oh mercy me Now that I do forget a lot. I get off track. Lose track of thought. Let's see what we got here. Alternate tab. Should be that one. 
much in it. Nope. Let's close some of these. Okay. I'm working at it. I'm working. I'm going to try to go over here, hopefully, where I can see what you're writing in chat. Live streaming, there we go. Okay. When I get to do a monitor setup, we'll be in better shape. <laughs> uh. I'm wondering if any fish going to bite right now. There we go. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Come on, let's get a big one. Let's get a big one. Before I warp to start using the down rods. Do, 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 Oh, mercy. What did I do? How did I break my line? Oh, man. Must have my drag set too high. Okay. We'll just get us another hook. I hate losing them hooks. Get some another bait again. Okay. Best laid plans. Yep, that's what it is. Here we go. Have my drag set too high. I'm not an expert. I'm just a fisherman. Sometimes I'm not a catcherman. <laughs> That didn't work out very good, did it? You can't change it that much. At least I haven't been able to. I've tried. It didn't work. You can go over and come back to it, but if you go under and try to go up to it, it doesn't work. At least it hasn't for me, so maybe it will for you if you try it. That's something else to experiment with. It's like when I'm casting and I want to come back to a certain number, I cast over and then come back to it. It's easier. There we go. Now, maybe I won't break my line if the fish gets on. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. For those of you that might be watching this video <laughs> when I post it, we're at White Moose Lake in Canada using this, what I call my Texas rig float since this is, started using this technique before they come out with the bottom rods. And it still works. The bottom rods work too, but I catch more at night, night peaks, trophies and unis is about all I catch with uh, this technique. Huh, I got a trophy book trout. So that <laughs> mostly it's lake trout and they, they get pretty big. I think my personal best is somewhere or something over 50 pounds, which is pretty big fish. Most of them are in the 35 to 45 range. So if you're gonna fish this, you need to have a pretty good size rig. And if you have bottom rods, 
all the better. That way you can catch, you got more bait in the water, more hooks in the water, and chances are catching more fish. Or you can use this technique with bottom rods with uh, two float rigs like this. Use that small, slim uh, float, 85-inch leader, uh, X-Series 4-aught hook. If you don't have the X-Series 4-aught, you can use just a 4-aught or a 5-aught hook whichever ones the fish seem to bite for you. And it works good too. And if you don't have the money or don't or don't or not high enough level to get bottom rods, this is the way to go. And if you're gonna warp from night to night, well that's a small trophy, but it's a trophy. If you're gonna warp from night to night, we'll catch one more then all you're going to use is one coin and that's a good thing so you can stay up here and fish as long as you want to on one coin night to night be sure you go from night to night When I was recording, I went showed early morning. Then I had to use a coin to go to late afternoon. Then I had to use a coin to go to night. And if you don't have a bunch of extra coins, you don't want to be wasting them. So using one coin going from night to night, that's the best way to do it. And that's the best way to catch the bigger fish. We'll catch one more, and then we'll go ahead and go to the warp to the next peak, and uh, I'll add down rods. And my buddy says he uses four down rods. I'll use three, and that way I can keep this rod in my hand, and if nothing's happened with this and something happens with the down rods, I can put this rod down on the rod holder faster and pick up the other rod faster than swapping them out. Now swapping out sometimes don't, for me, doesn't work quite as good. So, here, fishy, 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 here, fishy. <laughs> come on, Uni, come to Papa. Here, Uni, Uni, here, Uni. The Unis are kind of like. Hogs and dogs. Sometimes you just gotta call them. It was. <laughs> I was fishing down in Florida uh, yesterday or day before, and if you fish down there often enough, you kind of know about the time that the unis are coming. And I told him, I said, "Well, it's about uni time," and he said, "How do you know?" And I said, "I'm fixing to cast out there and get one." So it, I cast out there, reel back in, cast out again. Bam, uni. He said, how did you know that? I said, it's about time. <laughs> and then I caught another one an hour later, which is down in Florida. The unis are, or an, the largemouth bass are an hour spawn. And I did the same thing. I said, well, it's about uni time. He said, man, you got this place figured. I said, nah, i just been fishing here a while. <laughs> hmm. You got to have fun where you can. It's like when you're in, uh, see, how'd I miss that one? I don't know. I use my right mouse button first. And uh, missed it, pure and simple. Okay, we're not going to wait anymore. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. There's my coin. Got one of my coins back. Okay. Let's see what our next night peak is. Same thing, 11 to 1. Okay. So let's go to 11 p.m. See, I almost messed up. But see, it cost me 1000 And I, I, I got $2,000 with a fish. So I'm still ahead of the game. I'll put this out there. Oh. I said I was going to add down rods. Can't add down rods while I'm doing this. Okay. Let's get our number two. 
down rod. There it is. <laughs> it's already there. No wonder I can't put it down. Okay. We're still going to cast out 130 feet. Close. I got a marker out there. That's, that's 133, I think. Now, funny thing with down rods, it, it's not that critical. Oop, that won't work. That won't work either. Are you going to stay on there? Yep. Now you will catch commons with a down rod. This might be a real small trophy that I'm using a heavier rig. Yep, there we go. Small trophy. It didn't take long, did it? It's like when I'm catfishing. I don't ever get all four rods out. They don't seem like. Till they start hitting. Which I'm not complaining. That'd be kind of silly to complain, wouldn't it? About catching fish. We'll get this one out there. And we'll get that number. That number five out there. It's, it's getting a bite. It wasn't nowhere near the number. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. A little bit bigger trophy. Okay. Get this back out of where it's supposed to be. That's where the bigger ones are. Yeah, we'll leave it there. I gotta get this other one. Tell me hello. Now we want our number seven. Get it out there. gentleman says that he subscribed to me and watched my videos on YouTube at TR Burkay. I told him I was streaming now and uh, I missed that fish, didn't I? <laughs> While I was typing. I do that a lot. That's why I, would, I wish there was a voice to character program on here. Let's see. Let me show this technique again. If I reduce my drag by two notches and put it back on there. He asked if I was streaming on YouTube. Answer yes. 
Okay. Pick it back up. Get my drag back up there. <laughs> he asked if I was streaming on YouTube. And I said, yes. He said, he's coming to YouTube. He's going to quit fishing. <laughs> That's nice. I appreciate that. It's a decent fish. Not bad, not bad. Up, oh, missed another fish. That's the problem with putting the rod down on the rod holder. You can't see those numbers move. Which one's hung up now? Number six. Okay. Ah, oh, there's one of my other buddies. Yeah, let's get her back in and start. Sure, kill a lot of. That's a that's a good fisherman too. He's a good buddy. We we share share stuff. Information. I told him this technique and he likes it. The nine o'clock peak and the three to five a.m. peak are the better ones for this technique. Barkay, you can watch on YouTube and still fish. Now, maybe I'll catch this fish instead of letting it get away. If I do that. See, I almost forgot again. There we go. That's a better fish. I do believe. I do believe. Same fish I missed four times. Typing and talking. <sighs> there again, I wish it was talk to text. hate to go to a private room or to a friend's only room. I don't want to be snobby. But I can't fish and type at the same time. Okay, got him something, flipped him over. Burke, not Barkay, sorry. Burke. I've seen a lot of people catching yellow perch here. I didn't know they were in this lake. They must have introduced them at one of the last 
updates. I think I blew that cast altogether. I think I started <laughs> the line out too late from typing. Oh, me. And like I said, you want to you want fish, you want to cut cotton. That's an old saying down here in the south. Actually, what it is you want to talk or cut cotton? So we change it a little bit. Okay, let's put this down and miss a fish probably. Bring this in, reset it. See that? Saw that line. Seven. Come on, seven. Pick it up. Saw it flicker. Yep. Saw the flicker. Flea fly flow flicker. Come on, big fish. Hurt my feelings. Give me another new personal best. Just hurt my feelings. Burke, uh, when I finish streaming, if you want to watch the recorded part of this video, it's got the explanation for why not to use this technique in, in a morning, early morning peak and afternoon peak. And then my buddy said he was waiting on me to start streaming and I thought I was. Well, I guess it's going to hit. And something grabbed this one and Oh, it ain't going to release soon enough. Okay. We try. Someone must have grabbed it and run it under a rock. Well, it would be nice if we could drag in a shell and give me another reward. <laughs> Reckon I threw that far enough? That's one of them hero casts again. this one and reset it. Now, come on, two. Give me a second. Give me a second. Says it's hung. Interesting. Well, come on, bring in it. Now, I turn loose. Doggone. If you're going to get hung, at least you can do is stay hung so you can bring in a shell or something. Give me that other coin. Nope. 
What is going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Said he sent me a night peak marker. See my lines and zoom in. Okay. Two's on this time. That's, that's what we want right there. Catfish on there for over an hour game time. Just now, the noise will drive you crazy, but not too often do they get off the hook if you just put the rod back down. A lot of times they'll get off the hook, and that's irritating. just at any second now, but it's on there right now. <laughs> we got time to pick up number seven. about it it's not boring <laughs> that's what my buddy said uh, I'm not catching all the unis I want but it's not boring that is if I can get my rods cast out there right well there you guys it's barely a uni but it's a uni
and I did not catch not one single uni or trophy. Fishing with that down my Texas rig emulator morning or afternoon. We'll leave that one there. Number six got to come in and get back out there, though. It was way short. Way short. Now, we have fished. Wow, we're at 1230. We're still getting hit, so. They're supposed to 40, 45 minutes kind of slow down. But it hadn't, has it? It doesn't bother me. doesn't worry me. Let's see what our number seven is doing. See if we missed a fish. Nope, not yet. As bad as my eyes are, it's hard for me to see the line on the end of the rod. See when it's moving. That's the key. No matter when the, that rod holder alarm goes off. And the line starts moving. That's the key of when you want to set the hook. That's why I use my friendly magnifying glass to look. To look. Uh, you do what you got to do. Just be that way. Just be that way. You don't want to cooperate with me next time. Here we go. See, now I can see that line. That yellow line. I'll tell you, after going down one through nine, I probably need to reset that because that's that. I have no idea where all that extra line goes. But when the fish hits, it jumps from 130 down to 70 something. So, whatever works. Catch him fish. We'll catch one more of something here and then we'll warp to another peak, another night peak. Twelve thirty-three. So we've been fishing an hour and a half. Game time here. Let's see if we can't catch one more something. Back up just a little bit. There we go. Come on. Be another uni. Hurt my feelings. Hurt my feelings. Since I missed that last fish, somehow, I'll use my enter button, bottom right corner of my keypad this time instead of the mouse. That way I don't push the real button too soon. I'm bad about that. And lose fish. It's cost me in some of the events I've been in. It's caused me to lose fish, which caused caused me to be out of the out of the top ten. And nobody's fault but mine. I'm gonna turn my light off. There we go. Well, okay. This is the one, we'll just take it. Number two. That's there. Back to six. Yeah, I saw you, number seven. Yeah, I saw you wink.
Probably missed a fish there. first hooked at 130 and stayed at 130 <laughs> not coming in very hard though it's still a trophy little in okay let's get the other two rods in And we'll go to a different peak. Then stayed pretty active all the way through, so that's not too bad. Okay, so let's see where we want to go. We want to go to, oh, that's, this is kind of a weird one. You can start here and, and, and fish just about all night long, really. I have, but this is where I want to go, see how it goes. So we're going to go to day nine, nine o'clock day nine. Okay. Nine o'clock. Okay. Now see, we had thirteen thousand dollars, so we're, we're eleven thousand dollars ahead. But we're going to lose some of it now. Whoops. Okay, it's day eight. Day nine. Okay. Day nine at nine o'clock. Now. It costs us two thousand. We're still nine thousand ahead. In money. What can I say? When it's too short, it's too short. <laughs> uh, no comments. Be sure we get out there. If you like what you're seeing, or if you just like seeing me making a fool of my well, you like seeing me making an idiot of myself sometimes, just watch some, some of my other videos. Man, I pull some real boners, really. But that's just that's just part of me. I am what I am. That's all what I am. Nothing more, nothing less. Aha, look there, I was clipped. That wasn't, no wonder I couldn't get out there any further than that. Didn't see that. See? <laughs> uh. The game's starting to jump just a little bit. I've had it on for a while. Which makes it hard to make the numbers work right. Oh, that took a while, didn't it? <laughs> ah, lordy, lordy, lordy. That's okay. Yes, when it starts jerking like that, it gets hard to cast. Where you want to when you want to release the whole nine yards. Uh, 
Then it's gonna be good long. Well, I couldn't do that again if I tried, I reckon. <laughs> Dance on top of the water for me. There you go. Dance on top of the water. Oh, there's number seven. Okay. What we got there? Come on. Oh, yeah. It's a fish, I hope. <laughs> and it's fighting me. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, thank you. times in a row caught three unis on the same hookup put pick up a rod put down pick up a rod put down pick up a rod had three unis on twice in the same day that's pretty good I've never done that did it with muskies but I've never done it with lake trout so he did a good job he did real good now see we're catching more than enough fish money-wise to warrant going ahead leaping to another night when we, it slows down there's no need fishing when it's slowing down when you can it don't cost you nothing to warp number six let's see what we got here anything well it was running toward you, you see that now they will sometime they'll run right straight at you and if that line gets leaf loose or limber or slack for very long they'll get off the bass down in florida are bad about it they'll run right straight at you you think you got nothing and all of a sudden it hooks and then they're gone 
which is not too cool. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Then we fished 30 minutes this peak. And here's what we got. We got $6,500 in five fish. That's average over $1,000 a fish. Now that ain't bad. If you if you warped right now onto the to the next uh, peak, you still be money ahead because you're not going to use a coin, and all it's going to cost you is a thousand dollars to warp. That's going to be one of them old man weak casts. <laughs> uh, I do better just do it like this, don't I? Snowing, cool. I was reading and said, but here we go. I either got a read, type, or fish. I can't, I, with my eyes, I can't watch what I'm doing and read and uh, fish too. So I got to do one or the other. And I'll read what my buddy's right. I don't want to be standoffish, don't want to be snobby. That's just not my character. And it's not a way to be. It's like I said, if, if I'm in a room and you come in and you want to know what I'm doing or how I'm doing it, just ask. Now, it may be a little bit before I answer if I'm catching fish, but I will answer. See if anybody's giving me any heart time here let's see well where's my get find my mouse there it is Okay, back to fishing. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Let's see what we got here. Just leveled up to 25. Grats. And we'll reset this one. Okay, like I said, first 30 to 45 minutes. See, now I'm now it's making me seem like I know what I'm talking about. We'll get out there. We'll catch one more fish. And I gotta go collect some money. Real money. <laughs> I like getting money. That way I can do a little other things I like to do. Like order me another monitor. So I got a monitor up there where I can respond to y'all's comments in chat. Kinda hard to do that when you can't see what's going on. Alternate tab. Oh, Phantom 800, 880's back. Or is that 80DX? 88DX. He was away from keyboard for a while. 
Oops, excuse me. <coughs> Lordy. The pollen around here in the southeast United States is pretty bad. I went out yesterday. <laughs> my my silver truck was yellowish green. I had to turn on the windshield wipers to wipe the pollen off the windshield where I could see where I was going. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. My wife has a a coffee colored, a dark, dark brown, almost black, and it was yellow. Good Lord. And, she, and it bothers her a lot of that. Yeah, he said it's snowing for them. That's hilarious. I thought that was solid rain. <laughs> oh me we're gonna catch one more fish probably within <laughs> the next hour i hope and uh i ain't gonna wait anymore we're gonna warp i'll catch a couple and then, then i'll get out of here that's a good thing about being retired i don't have any appointments except for my here we go maybe that'll do it maybe that'll do it Are you there? Nope. Nope. Come back and get it again. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Please come back to me. Come back to me. That X Series 4 hook with a shiner on it doesn't cast as far as, as a number 4 or number 5. They'll cast around 100 to 108, something like that. So you don't have to let out as much line. But it, like I said, it's a video game. All it knows is that 130. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Let's finish with a couple of, at least one good one. Come on. See, we, you can't do this with a, with a, uh, I don't know if I put it down in the rod stand. See if I can do it now. Yeah, there you go. Well, we got, we got one uni. That's all this time. Okay. We need one more anyhow. Come on. And I know they're not on a set spawn like 30 minutes or one hour. At least I haven't figured that out yet. Not to say that they are, not to say that they aren't. But I haven't, I've caught them 15 minutes apart, hour and a half apart. So it just, whenever they hit. Come on, let's do it. Do it to it. Turn the light off. Get up there a little closer. I can see that line of number two. Going back to my magnifying glass, y'all. There it goes. Okay. Turn the light on. So I can do this. So I can see what to do. Number two line took off, so here we go. I don't believe it's a uni. No, nope, don't think so. It's a trophy. <gasps> but it's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish.
It is a uni. Good one to end on. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And maybe you learned just a little bit of something besides the fact that I'm a crazy old man. I tell people I'm, I'm, I'm older than dirt. As a matter of fact, I fart dust. <laughs> but uh, there was a guy yesterday said that it was it was interesting to see an, uh, an elderly gentleman playing a video game. And I told him I'm not an elderly. I'm old, pure and simple. But uh, I hope it showed you something here. Remember, morning peaks, afternoon peaks, not as good as night peaks. But And if you warp from during the day most of the time you have to use a coin you don't want to do that fish the night peaks that way you only have to use your first coin and then you can warp from night to night to night to night from peak to peak to peak and not have to use any more coins and catch all the trophies and all the unis that you want with this technique the bottom rods and the light float sinking to the bottom and let it out to 130 feet cast your bottom rods out to 130 feet uh, X-Series 4-aught hook if you have it or just a 4-aught or a 5-aught hook with a shiny. It'll, it'll still catch the fish. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got my personal best on a uh, just a regular 5-aught hook. So, But they'll, they'll hit any one of the three. So thank you very much for watching again. Uh, good luck. God bless you and your family tight lines I uh, hope you catch a bunch of fish hope you catch a bunch of big fish uh, subscribe that way you get notified when I'm either streaming or when I post a new video and uh, maybe it'll help you who knows uh, I would certainly hope so you'll see that I don't make any money on my videos all I want to do is teach uh, that's that's what I enjoy so y'all come back now you're here okay God bless you. Bye. See you next time. Figure out what I'm doing here.